The actress Elizabeth Sladen, who starred in Doctor Who in the spin-off series The Sarah Jane Adventures, has died. She was 63 and had cancer. Many tributes have been paid to the Liverpool-born actress, and Jane Frances Kelly looks back at her life. We're talking about the Daleks, the most evil creatures ever invented. You Cast as the sidekick, Elizabeth Sladen's on-screen energy, warmth and humour turned her character Sarah Jane Smith into a star. She first appeared as Doctor Who's assistant in 1973, alongside John Pertwee and then opposite Tom Baker. Is this the last time I'm ever going to see you? She returned to the role on numerous occasions, notably with David Tennant. Don't forget me, Sarah Jane. Soon after, she was given her own spin-off series, The Sarah Jane Adventures. Its creator, Russell T. Davis, described her as funny, cheeky and clever. We had a glorious time. I mean, if I'm glad about anything in my career, I am so glad we did that, just so the whole new generation of children could fall in love with Sarah Jane Smith and with Elizabeth Clayton. I am I'm so happy that happened. The current Doctor Who, Matt Smith, has also paid tribute, saying what struck me about Liz was her grace. She welcomed me, educated me and delighted me with her tales and adventures on Doctor Who. Elizabeth Sladen's appeal stretched across the generations and she will be missed by fans both young and old. Well, we can talk now to Tom Spilsbury, the editor of the official Doctor Who magazine, who joins us from our Tunbridge Wells studios. Uh, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, just uh, begin, if you can, by telling us about your relationship with Elizabeth Sladen. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm 35 years old, so actually Liz um, had already left the role before I was even born. I mean, that's how, uh, how long her span of the series lasts. But I, mean, I remember her first coming in in the 1980s when she was returning to Doctor Who. And, um, and of course, I later saw the old ones. And when, in later years, since I've become editor of the magazine, I've got to know her personally. And she was, she was a... a a very, very talented actress, but a very kind and funny and, and uh, just a unique human being. And she did so much on, on the series, of course. Uh, but what are your favourite moments that you Well, remember? I mean, I, I love the, the moment where she leaves the Doctor at the end of her last uh, regular appearance um, because it's just so so understated and so so heartbreaking for that, the, the, uh, the moment the Doctor has to leave her behind. And then, of course... In more recent times, she's come back to meet David Tennant, and that moment when they're reunited again, it's, it's for all the same emotions sort of come back. And it's, it's those moments. I mean, I know Doctor Who is a science fiction show about monsters invading and all of that, but, but actually it's the, sometimes those quiet moments that really, uh, that really shine through, and she was such a good actress that she could always sell that. And, of course, everyone puts their own stamp on a role, but do you think it's true to say that she, that she actually transformed the role of Doctor Who's assistant during her time? Yes, I mean, without being unfair to anyone who came before, because, I mean, the Doctor had already been running for ten years before she, before she made her first appearance, but there is a sort of... Uh, uh, you know, she, she kind of revolutionised it, really. Up until then, um, perhaps there was a, a certain sort of cliché of a type of companion. But she played a journalist, and so she comes in, she's able to ask the questions that a companion has to ask. But she was able to do it in, a, in an intelligent way, in a way that, that suggested the character was not just someone who, who was thick and, and uh, had to ask the questions. She, she always did it with a sparkling humour and, uh, and likability, and I think... When she was uh, at her best with, with Tom Baker's Doctor, and those are those sort of classic years we all remember, or if you're of an age you remember, um, that's the team, the Doctor and, and Sarah Jane, and, and, you know, she was brilliant. OK, Tom Spilsbury, thanks very much indeed for sharing your memories with us. Thank, Thank you. you.